What's up guys, King's Reaper here, and welcome back to another episode of Escape from Tarkov. Now in last episode we finally hit level 10, which unlocked Flea Market to us, and gave us opportunity to buy some better gear. So the first raid we are loading in, I took a Vepper Hunter with a E-Clan Scope, and I took Armored Rig, so we went back to Customs, since I had to do some more quests over there. So I spawned on the east side of the map, looted the stashes along the way, and just as I was coming to the wall, I heard player movement. And this dude almost had me. He had an AK with probably half decent ammo since he did wound me in chest and my hand. So after healing up quickly, looking if there's another player with him, I realized there was nobody else. So I looted up this guy, went on to see what he had, reloaded my mags, and moved off to another stash. Unfortunately, nothing extreme happened in this raid, so I extracted, got some extra XP from my character, and of course I had to organize my inventory once again. Now, I am pushing towards that Lucky Scavs junk box, but unfortunately I needed to have level 2 standing with Therapist. So, I decided to load yet into another raid. I spawned near the old gas station and used the shortcut across the wall to get to the stash. I was already towards the center of the map and I went into the container to loot another stash. And there was a fuel canister inside, which is always good. Just as I started pushing out, this unaware scav player didn't even know I was laying there. It took quite few shots to take him down, but I managed to do it. But the party did not end here. Давай, мочи! And that was a quest completion for therapist, where I had to eliminate 15 scavs on customs. So I went on with looting. I checked his rig to see what he had. But unfortunately it was nothing too worthy, but I took it anyway. Now I wanted to loot the other body of a scav. But I couldn't get to the other side. And there was yet another player scav crawling through the bushes, trying to see where the action came from. Luckily I managed to kill him. I repacked my mags first and went to see what he had. Hey, fellas, look what I found in my pocket. Look, a year's salary right here. That's what I call them fun coupons. Oh, yeah, Labs keycard. That's got to be worth a lot of money. And so is the stim. So I don't know why did this guy even try to push me, why did he even go there, I would have just extracted straight out or do something, just get out with that labs keycard man, it's worth a lot of money. So after looting that guy, I went on to extract, so I pushed across to the river and luckily the smuggler's boat was there, so I extracted. After again quickly organizing my inventory, I made a 
hefty sale on that lab's keycard and made a profit of 200,000 rubles. I sold also the stim that I found in raid. It was worth somewhere around 60, 70,000. So yeah, all in all, it was a good raid, even though we didn't find any players. So after making those sales, it was time to purchase some stuff for me. So I went ahead and purchased dog tags and dog's case. Now it was time to deal with the quests. So I finally turned in quest for 15 scavs, but there was still a quest to turn in one more gas analyzer. So I loaded once again into the customs in hope that I would find one in stashes. So this raid, we spawned uh, once again on the shore, so it was more on the west side. And I started going immediately through the first blue cabin located next to Big Red. And the defuel was also a good find. Right now you can sell it on the market for around 90 to 100,000 rubles and make a profit of 45,000 rubles or so. But my looting would not go as peacefully as I was hoping for. So there was a player. He might have seen me. Well, now he knows I'm here. And I got him with no aim, luckily. But there was somebody else. And he was obviously shooting a low quality ammo since he didn't damage me at all. So I had to push back immediately and see if he's gonna follow through. I didn't see him, I didn't know exactly where he was. He was probably shooting somewhere from the parking lot. But I had an idea. I decided to flank him, to go around and use the slope in my advantage so I wouldn't expose my body, I would expose only my head. And what do you know, there he was. There he was no more. So I wasn't sure if I did kill him or no. I guessed I did since he would re-peak usually, but I still took a wide angle to check if he if his body was there. I couldn't see his body, so I was starting to get worried. But yet Again, there it was, so thank lord the headshot did work. I quickly grabbed all of his gear and decided to move on. So I went from this point into a big red to check the safe. And boy oh boy was I lucky. There was a bitcoin in the safe and it's worth around 150,000 rubles on the market right now. Or even if you sell it to therapist, it's 145,000. So after quickly looting all the other stashes, I went ahead to extract. So this raid went pretty good. I killed two players. I had a luck when I drew that Bitcoin from the safe in Big Red. But that did not progress us in consideration to our quests. So I had to quickly stash all my stuff and wanted to go into another raid on customs. So after spawning and hitting a stash, I was moving towards the train. And 
Now that camping spot was before one of my favorite spots and I always check it if somebody's up there but this is actually the first time I found someone camping up here on this rock. So it was a good start of a raid. I killed a guy who had an AK, he had some decent gear on him so I moved off to loot the third stash positioned right here next to him checked out the ammo it was good ammo and just as I was moving towards the dorms what what the fuck a hidden flower attacked me so I don't know if you guys noticed him, but I noticed him way too late. And the problem was he actually started shooting on me exactly at the point where I was switching my guns. So there was no way that I could shoot back, that I could jump over him or do something. It was just the end for us. So I was a bit disappointed with that raid, but that didn't keep me from going on. So I took Mosin and went yet again into customs. Now when you spawn the shoreline like this, it's always good to take this spot. Because there's a spawn right there at the end. And sometimes you'll catch players crossing from left to right. But it's always okay to wait a couple of seconds longer because players can also move towards the blue shacks. But there was someone. Nope. Nope. So I wasn't sure if I killed him or no, but I went to loot the blue shack next to Big Red and slowly pushed backwards to, ch to check jackets in these shacks. And there he was. So I didn't kill him. My god, how does one player with a single gun give me three bleeding wounds, destroys all my limbs, and I don't kill him with a Mosin? So I finally did kill him, but I was mortally wounded. So after searching for some meds in desperation to save myself, I couldn't find anything. And just as I was near the end of the map, I used up all my painkillers, so I couldn't even walk anymore. So what do you do when you have no painkillers, no way to retrieve it, you're just critically wounded and you're gonna die? Well, you find a bush like this, and you bury all your gear like a dog buries his bone. So I just dished it all into the bush and moved towards the extract. I was limping and limping, but somehow miraculously I got out. And when I looked at the end screen, I killed both of those players, which means the first player I saw did end up dead and so did the second one that almost killed me with a handgun. So yeah, that's kind of embarrassing, but my god, we all have those moments. So I picked up yet another gear set, sold the items that I found in the raid, geared up and went for another customs raid. And just as I started, I was moving towards the stash to loot it up. And there was a player who was playing Rock Climbing Simulator. Now I've never actually saw anybody get up onto that rock, so I didn't expect him at all. I was trying to blind fire him or to, to shoot him with no ADS, but unfortunately he killed me instantly, so this was yet another waste of gear. So for the next raid I picked up a Vapor Hunter, I geared up slightly again and went into customs. I spawned near the river and I knew exactly where I was again. So it was time to push quickly to the next side of the river or along the shore. 
because there are players usually crossing right away. So I went to this bush and decided to wait a couple of seconds to see if somebody is going to be crossing immediately the land bridge. And there he was. Two quick shots and the dude was dead. Now sometimes there's gonna be a whole team crossing immediately, so you need to be aware of that. But it seemed like it was all clear. I didn't hear any more movement, I didn't see anybody crossing. So I slowly started pushing towards his body. But since it's early in the raid, I knew other players on this side of the map heard my shots. So I had to be a bit more careful. And I saw his head. There was another player. It was a game of peeking. Who is gonna peek who? Who's gonna kill who? I gave him a solid shot, but he didn't go down. And he pushed me. I killed another player. My heart was pounding. Boy, two kills right off the start. I just made sure that he's really dead. So I had to shoot his body once again. I quickly picked up his gear. And then I had a really sad realization. I didn't take meds with me. I had no painkillers, I had no splint, and of course this, this goddamn dude just had to break my leg. So I couldn't run anymore. So I thought, okay, if he had no meds, perhaps the guy on the other side of the shore that I killed initially has some gear, has perhaps painkillers or something for me. But it's risk to go across, can because I'm limping, I can't run. So I still went on. I took the risk and started moving across. And there was somebody else watching this. There was another player with a Vapor Hunter and he was somewhere on the shoreline. Unfortunately the weather was really bad so the visibility wasn't as good and I couldn't see him. Since I was limping as well. I couldn't peek quick and check if somebody's there or no, so I was trapped. The only way I could got out of this situation is to wait for him to push me and maybe get a lucky shot to kill him. So I thought he might be flanking, he might be going up around the train to go to the left side and have an angle on me from which he can see me. So I was waiting here for the inevitable. The moment where he's gonna flank me, push me, or do something. And there he was, pushing. And my life ended so quickly, only because of a mistake of not taking any meds with me. Although I didn't understand how come that two thorax shots with m80 rounds didn't kill him i was still happy that i did kill two players but i was angry on myself because i was an idiot who didn't take meds with him into the raid because this raid would have gone so much better if i had a splint if i had a painkiller pain anything anything just to get me out of that situation so we loaded into the next raid we spawned again on the east side in one of the industrial buildings and as I moved toward the center of the map, I was already quite full with gear. And there it was, the last gas analyzer that I needed. So before this raid, I bought the key that I needed for Prapor's quest. And I went to the worker's shack, 
located right here. And what do you know? Somebody was already inside there. So if I knew that, I wouldn't even need a key. But what the hell, the key was only 7000 so nobody cares. I picked up that item and I found yet another juicy M1, M1A, no, M4A1, sorry. So I folded the toss that I still needed for Skier's quest, picked up this M4A1 and decided it's time to get the hell out of here. So I pushed to the shore and luckily Smuggler's boat was there. So I had two quest items that I could turn in and complete the quests. I had another Taz. So first things first, I went to Mr. Skier. I turned in yet another Taz gun that he needs. And then I went to Therapist to turn in the gas analyzer. So after completing this quest, she wanted me to find four more fine painkillers in a raid. And Mr. Prepper was very happy with me to bring him back that folder. But he had yet another task. Oh boy, oh boy. These mags don't need to be found in raid. <laughs> yeah, boy. Which means I can go to flea market, search up those mags, buy as many as he needs, give them in to him and be over with, with, with that quest immediately. So I bought the five remaining mags that I needed, went to Prapor and turned them in. So easy cheesy, another quest done. And yet again, he wanted another thing from me. So he wanted me to go into factory and find the postman package, which is located on one of dead scavs bodies. So I quickly geared up, I was thinking what I'm gonna take for the next factory raid. I don't like factory to be honest, I really don't, because it's a close quarters map and I'm not someone who likes playing qu close quarters. So as I was in the raid already, somebody was camping above, I couldn't see him. And of course, another guy came here. So my raid ended up miserably very very quick guys i can't even express how much i hate the factory it's the worst map in the world i can play i just hate it so much unfortunately this is where our episode ends so this time it didn't go as well as i wanted it to but anyway i wasn't ready to give up just yet so in the next episode we'll continue pursuing our factory quest so I hope you enjoyed this episode guys and I'll see you in the next one. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the notification button to see my remaining videos or to see my upcoming videos, tutorials on Escape from Tarkov. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.